Thanksgiving. We are few, but mighty. Right, right, two of the Eucharist page 355. And we are recording, so I'm using the microphone.
members to pray for all people, and especially those in leadership roles in governments. A reading from 1 Timothy. First of all, then I urge that supplications, prayers, intercessions, and thanksgivings be made for everyone, for kings and all who are in high positions, so that we may lead a quiet and peaceful life in all godliness and dignity. This is right and is acceptable in the sight of God our Savior, who desires everyone to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. For it is one God, there is also one mediator between God and humankind, Christ Jesus, himself human, who gave himself a ransom for all. This was attested at the right time. For this I was appointed a herald and an apostle. I am telling the truth, I am not lying. A teacher of the Gentiles is faith and truth. Hear what the Holy Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks. 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 Pushing for 
including Thanksgiving as a holiday. And she would write to governors and representatives, to even the president, presidents, I should say, because she was ignored for about 36 years, but she kept working on it. Her name was Sarah Josepha Hale. She's the same person who wrote uh, Mary Had a Little Lamb, that nursery rhyme. And it was only in the midst of the turmoil of the Civil War that Abraham Lincoln listened to what she was saying and declared Thanksgiving to be a national holiday. Just the opposite of what some of our readings suggest, that it was in a time of turmoil that Lincoln decided it was time to listen to what Sir Hale was saying and declare this Thanksgiving to be a national holiday. And Lincoln said this. Um, he asked all Americans to, quote, commend to, his, to God's tender care all those who have become widows and orphans, mourners or sufferers in lamentable civil strife. And then he went on to say that we needed to pray to heal the wounds of the nation. We're coming out of a time of turmoil, and as I thought about this, I saw some words yesterday from the director of Forward Movement that were sent to those who are subscribers to Forward Movement. Scott Gunn had some wonderful things to say about this time. Now let me just share his words with you. He said, we're living through a time of disruption and upheaval brought about by the pandemic and by the public revelation of deep chasms dividing our society. We've always lived in a fallen world, but somehow it seems more visible now. He went on to say it would be easy to become discouraged, to begin to believe that evil, sin, and death define our world. Scott continued, Thanksgiving reminds us that God's grace defines our world. Not all those other things, God's grace. We just need to see that and perhaps reorient our lives toward gratitude. While a sense of gratitude doesn't banish evil or remedy injustice, it does enable hope and enliven our hearts with an awareness of God's grace. And I think those are wise words from Scott. Please join me in our Statement of the Christian Faith in the Nicene Creed on page 358. We believe in one God, the Father of the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father.
Let us give thanks to God, our Father, for all his gifts so freely bestowed upon us, for the beauty and wonder of your creation in earth and sky and sea. We thank, we thank you, Lord. Lord. For all that is gracious in the lives of men and women, revealing the image of Christ. We thank, we thank you, Lord. Lord. For our daily food and drink, our homes and family and our friends. We, we thank, thank you, Lord. Lord. For minds to think and hearts to love and hands to serve. We, we thank, thank you, Lord. Lord. For health and strength to work and leisure to rest and play. We thank you, Lord. For the brave and courageous who are patient in suffering and faithful in adversity. We thank you, Lord. For all valiant seekers after truth, liberty, and justice. We thank you, Lord. For the communion of saints in all times and places. We thank you, Lord. Above all, we give you thanks for the great mercies and promises given to us in Christ Jesus. Our Lord. You and your grace, glory, with you, O Father, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Let us offer our intercessions and thanksgivings, either silently or aloud. For the individuals killed or hurt in Waukesha in that terrible uh, slaughter. Christmas parade for their families. For the safety of all who travel by air or land, and especially those dear to all of us. away from home this Thanksgiving in nursing care and for all in nursing care. In our Anglican cycle of prayer today, we pray for the church in Nigeria and most especially for the Diocese of Ida in Nigeria. And on this 25th day of the month, we pray in our daily prayers for the Swain family, Jim and Jamie, Brittany, Chris, Ashley, Lauren, Johanna, Michaela, Taylor, and Jeremiah. Prayers of the people can be found on page 387 in the prayer book. No, no, Larry, no. we're not going to do those. Uh, what? Not going to do those. We're not doing those. No. I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> disappointments and failures in life, which call us to know where our true reliance needs to lie on you and on our brothers and sisters in the faith community. Deepen our gratitude for this support from you and from brothers and sisters and from family through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Page 360. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbors. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our we are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. All 
Almighty God, have mercy on you and me. Forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness. And by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in everlasting life. Amen. Amen. My sisters and brothers, the peace of the Lord is always with you. And also with you. The Lord is with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give them thanks and grace. It is right and a good and joyful thing, always and everywhere, to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. For you are the source of light and life. You made us in your image and called us to new life in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Therefore, we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth, We 
celebrate the memorial of our redemption, O Father, in this sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. Recalling his death, resurrection, and ascension, we offer you these gifts. Sanctify them by your Holy Spirit, to be for your people the body and blood of your Son. Sanctify us also, that we may faithfully receive this holy sacrament and serve you in unity, constancy, and peace. And at the last day, bring us, with Emma and Kamehameha of Hawaii and all your saints, into the joy of your eternal kingdom. All this we ask through your Son, Jesus Christ, by him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. Amen. And now as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Hallelujah. Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Amen. Therefore, let us keep the peace. Hallelujah. The gifts of God for the people of God, holy gifts for God's holy people.
Let us pray. Eternal God, Heavenly Father, you have graciously accepted us as living members of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. And you have fed us the spiritual food in the sacrament of his body and blood. Send us down into the world in peace and grant us strength and courage to live and serve you with gladness and singleness of heart through Christ our Lord. The blessing, mercy, and grace of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Let us go in peace, rejoicing in the power of God's presence with us. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.